Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be bringing you guys this video today on this coppery, glittery look. I'm obsessed with glitter. If you ask me what my favorite color is, I will say glitter. If I could shower in it every day, I absolutely would. And I feel like I don't use it enough, so I'm really glad that I got to do this video for you guys. You know what, let's just jump right into it and let's get started. All right, so I've already done all of my face off camera. I did my foundation, I did my concealer. So if you guys wanna watch how I do that, make sure you guys watch one of my signature makeup look videos and I really go into detail with everything that I use for my face. But we're gonna get started right with the eyes and I'm really excited because it's my first time playing with this um, Master Palette by Mario. I'm gonna start with adding a little bit of Studio Finish Concealer from MAC on my eyes as a base. I always like to take whatever I'm using as a base to my eyes with my fingers. I just like to be able to feel how much product I'm actually using a lot better than with a brush. Make sure you take it on the inside of your eye and blend it out on the outer edges of your eye. So I'm gonna take this MAC 224 brush and I'm gonna start with this color right down here called Isabella. It reminds me a lot of cream, um, ice cream soda. Um, it's just a really beautiful light peachy orange. So I'm gonna take this color in my crease and really make sure that it's nice and blended out all throughout my crease. Now I'm gonna take this reddish brown color called Violetta and apply this in my crease. And with the second color, I'm just applying it more on the outer corners of my eye and making sure it's nice and blended out. Next, I'm gonna take this Copper Super Shock Eyeshadow from ColourPop in the shade Game Face. So when I apply these ColourPop eyeshadows, I really like to just take them with my finger because I find that that's the best way that they go on. And I just buff it out on my lid. You really wanna kind of pack it on to build that intensity of the color. So now to really make it pop, I'm gonna add this Max Reflex Gold Glitter. Before I apply glitter, I actually apply a little bit of setting powder on my under eye area to catch any glitter fallout. And then when I'm done, I can just wipe it away and it's like nothing ever happened. So you can take whatever setting powder it is that you like and that you use. I like to just take a little bit of my RCMA No Color Powder on my Beauty Blender and then just kind of press it on my skin right underneath my eyes. You kind of want to do a generous amount just so that it really kind of like stays put. You look a little crazy, but it's gonna make the glitter process a lot easier. So again, I'm just gonna spray my Morphe M333 brush with a little bit of Fix Plus, and I'm gonna pick up some of that Reflex Gold. I always like to kind of like tap my brush, whew, just so that it kind of like all of the excess can just kind of go away. And then I like to slightly lean back a little bit with the, when applying it, so that the glitter kind of just goes on the lid a little bit better and not kind of falling down. And then I'm just pressing it all over the lid. Woo! That baby looks like a disco ball. Totally upgrades the eyes. So now that we got the glitter all on, we can dust off our setting powder and it just dusts away all of the little glitter specks that came tumbling down your face. I like to always kind of go back in with a fluffy brush and blend that bronzer into the highlight in case it causes any like separation. So to finish the eyes, we're gonna take that shade that we started with and a point brush and run this underneath our lash line. And to really make my eyes pop, I'm gonna take this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. So I'm gonna take this in my waterline and it literally makes you look nice and bright. So if you're somebody that wants to look more awake, this little trick will be your best friend. And today I'm gonna be using these Flutter Lashes in the style Intoxicating. I got my eyelash glue on my lash. I'm just gonna let it dry before I apply it. Let's get this baby on, I swear, lashes. I'm gonna take this to the next level. Yes. So the reason I'm wearing these today is because a little birdie told me that these are Emreezy's favorite lashes. So Emreezy likes it. I know I'm gonna love it. All right, so now I'm gonna take this mini lash curler from Reveal Beauty. I love this tool so much because it really allows me to kind of like bind and curl my natural lash with my falsy. And that literally took these lashes to a whole nother level. I'm gonna add a little bit of bottom mascara. Of course, you guys know I'm obsessed. My go-to, my roll dog. This MAC Cosmetics Extended Play Mascara. Just gonna wiggle that to my eyes. Get in right in there. And against that white liner, those lashes and those eyes 
are literally gonna pop and you're gonna look like a little baby doll. So now we're gonna add just a little bit of glitter on the inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna take a point brush and that Fix Plus and let's hope I don't get this in my eyeball. Ooh. Now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna apply a little bit of highlight and I'm really excited because today I'm gonna mix two of my faves. Uh, I'm gonna use my Artist Couture Double Take Diamond Glow Powder with my Artist Couture Gold Digger Diamond Glow Powder and gonna mix some magic. And what I mean by mixing them, I literally take my fan brush and I go like back and forth like a little pancake, like a little flapjack or almost like little drums between each color and then pop it on. We're actually working on a setting spray, so today I'm gonna be using my little sample that I have of it just to test it out. So I'm gonna spritz my skin first, of course, like I always do. It smells so bomb. Gonna let that kind of dry, you guys know the drill. Let it do its thing a little bit. All right, let's get this baby on. Oh my lint. This is so bomb. And of course, you know, you gotta take a little down the bridge of that nose. Make sure she's pinched. Can't be caught out here slipping. So moving on to my lips, I'm gonna use this lip balm. This is by Terry. This is called Balm de Rose. And it literally smells like rose petals. And it's so amazing on your lips. Just gonna take that all over. Mm. So bomb. And today I'm gonna line my lips with this ColourPop pencil, and I believe this is in the shade Chi. And for my lips today, I'm gonna use Jeffree Star Cosmetics I'm Nude. I'm gonna take this all over my lips. I'm gonna go back in with that liner and give it a nice blend, because obviously this is not cute. All right, so now that we've got that all blended, I'm gonna take this Pinky Rose Elegant Gloss in the color Boss Gloss. And I feel like this gloss was made for me, because I'm a boss, duh. <laughs> and it's like the perfect nude. Super, super, super opaque, and literally makes the lips look so juicy. And the last thing that I'm gonna do is set my face with a setting spray coming to you very soon. And that pretty much completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this coppery, glittery look. This is definitely perfect for a date night, maybe your birthday, or if you're like me, you just rock this like at CVS or Target or something like that. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys thumbs up this video. Leave me some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want some more glittery looks? Let me know, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.